Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video and my first video about chess and my first video about chess strategy and chess patterns. Today I want to show you why patterns are so important. Um, as you see I've set up a nice position for you. You will find out the best move for flag for me <laughs> and we're gonna see if uh, you've done this correctly. Okay. So, um, I found this position in um, a, check, a, a chess book written by Murray Chandler uh, titled How to Beat Your Dad at Chess with a very ridiculous cover. Mm, yeah. And actually, this book is quite good. It covers 50 ways of checkmating. Um, yeah. And so don't get scared by that cover. Just if you see it in your bookstore, buy it. It's really good. Um, okay, so you can stop the video now and look what you can do. Okay, I'm back again. So um, I want to tell you that. Well, I read in a book that the famous Grandmaster John Nunn found the combination in just two seconds. Um, and I go, I'm gonna show you the combination now. Uh, it goes as follows. Knight goes to g3. Check. Uh, very beautiful sacrifice, by the way. White is kind of forced here to kill that knight. As otherwise it would lose its queen because there is a fork as you see okay so um, if black didn't uh, kill that knight just move the king uh, then white would have lost the queen and lost the game very quickly probably um, okay I'm gonna show you what happened after this knight gets killed Look, obviously you take back that pawn. Uh, check. This is a discovered check. As you see, there's the rook. Okay. King has to go to g1. Uh, the rook sacrifices here. Um, king kill. The king kills it. Obviously, um, uh, this is the only thing uh, he can do. Okay. Next, the same again. And now check with the queen. King has to go g1. Now the king goes onto h2. <clears throat> now the king has to move onto f1 and checkmate. Beautiful, isn't it? The combination is 8 moves long. And John Nunn found it in just 2 second, seconds. I'm gonna show you uh, how this is structured and how people. Uh, do build up these in their minds okay okay here's uh, a simplified position stripped all of the irrelevant pieces um, as you see why a uh, black it's black to move black can make a fork here white is to do something about king and black loses the white. Uh, sorry, uh, white loses the queen. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Um, so let's get back here. Uh, this is a very basic, like trick or pattern to remember. This is what was uh, done at first at the beginning when uh, this was played here um, here as you see first thing done is moving the knight here forcing the pawn to kill the knight this is the next pattern uh, it's actually the first well Okay, it's it's about freeing the A file in this case in our 
case before it was about freeing the H file because we played black. Here we are playing white and, this, uh, and it is about freeing the H file. Um, so what we do here is we sacrifice the knight here leave it here to b6 it is it is check and the knight is killed by the pawn check again um well no the well no there is actually no sensible move um but it is about getting the uh a file open um okay this uh is one of the moves that leads to the lighter check made in this position so we've covered two patterns now this is the third position and the third pattern um as you see here we had after the double sacrifice, the double rook sacrifice, and after this move, um, it is actually the same. Uh, if you look at the block, well, I changed the colors um, to show it's white to move, but it's actually the same. Um, okay, what white does is obviously it checks on a7 and the king has to move to c8 uh, it cannot move to c7 obviously because of the pawn um, sorry yeah and now it moves here checkmate um, well here in g7 it's obviously just a piece that's blocking it could be uh, something like a bishop on b5 uh, a white bishop on b5 here or just something that the king can't go on d7. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's another pattern I'm gonna show you. This sacrifice that you're gonna see here now is called a decoy sacrifice. It means that uh, something is done in order uh, to play something somewhere. <laughs> um, okay, you're gonna see. King moves onto a h. Obviously, black kills that king. It has to. It cannot move anywhere else. Uh, and now we got the same uh, thing as um, the the pattern I shown you last. As you see, it's the same now. It's exactly the same. The same. Look, check. Checkmate. Okay. Mm. No. After. Okay. I'm gonna show you that now. This position again. Back to that. Where you've got all those pieces um, spread in the game um, that all kind of disturb you. And but as you see, all these patterns that I've sh shown you uh, in this position um, they they work with each other so you can use these patterns on this position although it seems very messy and much more messy than with the stripped position okay this you've seen this is the fork it forces white to kill that knight it kills uh, okay, now we have a double decoy sacrifice, which takes something about three moves. Well, two moves. Okay. The first rook, bam. The second rook, bam. And now we've got that final position. And bam, checkmate. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, thank you so much for listening. I hope uh, uh, you understood what I was saying. And I hope you've enjoyed that video. I'm really looking forward to doing some, to, to sorry, to making some 
nicer, better, more effective, easier to understand videos about chess and maybe other things in life. Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye. Cheers.